Lord Krishna freed present day Iraq. Iraq was ruled by a person called Narakasur. And he made everybody miserable, the whole population was miserable. It's in Iraq. His son was Bhagadatta. Because of Bhagadatta, the city came to be known as Baghdad. So what Iraq had to face now, it faced 5,000 years before. Iraq had the same type of regime. And he had married 16,000 women, captured them, made them his slaves. So when he was aligned by Sri Krishna, he freed them. And then these 16,000 women said, now we will all commit suicide. They all want to commit mass suicide. Because in those days, there was a taboo about women without husband. So they all told, there is no point, because our families will not take us, because we have been married to this guy, and the world will not accept us, because they see us the wife of this demonic person who has destroyed the lives of millions. So it is better we die. Then Sri Krishna said to them, No, I will give you my surname to you. You need not call yourself as wife of Narakasura. In that place you can call you are my wife. Because Krishna was a very well respected and highly acknowledged person. He gave dignity to their life by giving his name or his sanction to be their husband, treat him as husband. So all those 16,000 concubines were given a respectable life by Sri Krishna by marrying them. Isn't that such a noble thing he did?